Hey guys, welcome back to the workbench. Today we're going to be working on this AMT 72 Chevy Coca-Cola pickup truck. 25th scale. This is kind of just like all of the other Coca-Cola sponsored vehicles that I've done. You now you get all your decals of, for the Coca-Cola sponsorship. They don't show a whole lot on the outside of the box, but you do get the 350 engine, the Coke machine. You get a, a choice of uh, what kind of wheels you want to use. And you can either use the pad printed white walls or you can flip them around and use just a black wall. Here's your parts trees on the back. So let's take a look at this kit. Now, it is a little bit shocking. I wasn't expecting it, but... Wow, okay. It's molded in red. And, oh, there it goes. I just, I just tried to get the interior tub out just a moment ago, and it would not budge. Yeah, everything's molded in red. This truck actually has a headliner in it. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. A little bit of flash, but not too bad. Okay, there's the, the cab of the truck. This next bag has your Coke machine. Some wheel backs. And you have to build the bed. This is the bed sides. Your chassis. That looks, well, it's all molded in. I don't really like the molded in exhaust system. They're hard to paint. You know, not, you know, I like to detail them separately, but it is what it is. Here's your bed floor and some suspension and engine parts. This one was kind of shocking when I opened the box and I saw the red plastic I was like oh no not red plastic but it is what it is we have to work with what we have here's your tailgate some more bed parts in the hood whoa stuck to my finger here's your engine block and dash wow there's some flash on that and that steering wheel is all jacked up uh, probably gonna have to heat that up to get it straight again or have to look for another one tonneau cover <sighs> some more engine parts wheel backs it's funny yeah this look like this or drum brakes <laughs> that's kind of weird Okay, coming up next is your chrome tree. Here's those different style wheels. You get the stock hubcaps or these kind of a wire spoke kind of wheel. Oh, nice steering wheel here. That's probably why this one was thrown in the bag just by itself. That was kind of just loose and flying around inside the bag because that one was just, well, that was short shot. That wasn't broke because if you look on the back, you can see that the, oh no, no, it was broke. It didn't, I didn't see the red plastic at first. So yeah, that was broke. I thought maybe it was short shot and it just, they just threw whatever they could in the box with it or whatever. get one steel axle here's your four tires the pad printed white walls or the black walls depending on which way you want to use them they are kind of a hollow rubber so that'll be kind of cool at least I don't have to trim the centers out of them I hate doing that too 
well, I, I can't say, hate's a powerful word. Here's your one piece front and rear win windows and the glass for the Coke machine. Now the last Coke machine I did for the Popper Pinto didn't, well, I lost this piece. It's been a, a few months and I still haven't found that. It's somewhere around here on, on this bench somewhere, but I couldn't tell you where. Here's your decal sheet. I guess you put the big Coca-Cola one on the tunnel cover. <laughs> this is for all the Coke, the, the Coke machines, all the buttons and stuff. But yeah, it gives you the Chevrolet logos and uh, with a brown black brown background or a black background. And a whole bunch of license plates here. That's nice. And gauge faces too. That's kind of cool. I love when they do the gauge faces because I'm terrible at detailing interiors. I do okay, but I'm not great at it. And last but not least, I believe that's everything. Yep, just the instruction sheet. And uh, it's pretty, pretty good size. So let's look at the back here. Oh, yeah, nice big pictures. They don't try to jumble a whole bunch of stuff in there and confuse you. Looks like a pretty simple build. It's probably going to be a, a butt kicker. But <laughs> I was doing a little research after I opened this box and I saw red plastic. I was like, red plastic? Wow. How do I seal the red plastic? Because every time... I deal with a car that's red plastic. The gray primer doesn't seal out the red. The white primer doesn't seal out the red. Black does, but I don't like using black on everything. So I did a little research and I found out that you can use this, this Zinser Bullseye Primer that is supposed to block out the red pigment from the plastic. I've also been told that you can use uh, Kills Primer that'll do the same job. So I don't know for sure that this will work, but we're going to give it a try. And let's see if we can block out this red plastic on everything. This is a, a bright white primer. So if the red is going to bleed through, it's and it, it'll show up on the white, definitely. It'll turn it kind of a light pink, um, which is quite horrible. And I don't want to put 20 coats of primer on this to cover up the red and then put my top coats on it. So we're going to give this a try. Now, my idea for this was to do a two-tone... I was thinking along the lines of, yeah, uh, red with white down the center. So like on the picture here on the box, I was thinking about doing the color scheme like that. But you can't lay down that white unless you cover up this red somehow. So we're going to give that a try. Let me get some parts cleaned up. There's some flash I need to clean up and things like that. We'll get everything set to go. Do a few little sub-assemblies like the engine halves and things like that. And we'll get over to the paint booth and start spraying. Let's see how this Zenser does. I was told that it works. Let's find out. Oh, and I picked this up in the clearance aisle at my local Walmart for $19. Gotta love the Walmart sales. <laughs> anyway, let's get started.
welcome back to the final on this 1972 Chevy Fleetside Cheyenne pickup that's coca-cola sponsored the truck went together very nicely I have zero complaints about how the truck assembled even the paint it wasn't the easiest uh, as may, many of you may have known I did have some issues with clear coats and well I've just gone back to the old standard floor polish I think I'll just stick with that that's the safest stuff I think many of you out there will disagree but it works well for me so I'm just gonna stick by it the thing that I had the most trouble with with this entire build was the decal sheet I wanted to make the truck just like the box art but the decals just would not cooperate and as a perfect example let me take this off this one off here now this is from this is from an older build decals went down perfectly the problem was with that one is I lost the little clear glass that goes in it yeah it happens this one I've kept everything but see how the decal is right in there that split right down the, that center this one for the coin slot it broke apart so I don't know just goes to show you it's always something <laughs> and this is not Saturday Night Live those of you who are old enough uh, will get the the reference <laughs> oh it's too funny anyway uh, after I got the paint and the bare metal foil down everything went to plan the one decal that did not split and I full-on expected it to split was the Chevrolet nameplate on the back that decal laid down one piece and stayed in one piece I was just shocked but there's the truck let me know what you think about it well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you have any questions or comments please write those in the comment section below and I'll be happy to respond as soon as possible be sure to follow me on Facebook and don't forget to check out my new merchandise shop by following the link both in the description box below and if you go to my channel click on the shop button and that'll take you to my shop I'm still working on new designs for that so be patient it's taken some time but I'm doing all the work myself I'm not farming it out to anybody so uh, trying to fit it all in with all of the things that are going on in my life right now so if you want more videos like this one make sure you hit that subscribe button below thanks for watching scale auto guys workbench and I'll see you on the next build.